simulated. Just waiting on the field to close up. Once we get a thumbs up from our FTA, we'll get match number two going. And there it is. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. Welcome back to our second qualification match here, the typical new district event. Remember the first 15 seconds as autonomous robots that leave their community, that blue area taped off by their starting place. If they leave it, they get three points, and if they can balance themselves on the generator, they get additional points for their teams. The rest of this match is now teleoperated or controlled by our human students. Robots are moving all over the field, hoping to place as many game pieces into that grid. The grid is that area closest to the driver station where our students are working. Students are controlling the robots and moving as many of the game pieces. The cones and the cubes are worth the same amount of points. It, where you place them is what matters. Placing them on the ground in the lowest part of the grid is two points. Up on the middle row is three, and up on the high part of the grid is five. Red Alliance currently with a strong lead, but there's still 100 seconds remaining in this match. 42-72 with the robot La Kucharakcha grabbing things from their station and whizzing over to their part of the grid, placing a cube on the high part of the grid that is worth five points for their alliance. They're trying to create links or three game pieces in a row across the grid. It can be any game piece across any part of the grid. They're trying to get five of those to get a rank point bonus. If both teams cooperate and place at least three game pieces in the center of their grid, that black area, then they can lower that threshold for the rank point. About a minute remaining in our match. Neither teams have many points at this matter, but plenty of time remaining. 44-7, Team Roboto with a cone making their way over to their grid, placing it in the lowest part for three points for their alliance. Fifty-four or two. That's Reckless Robotics already sitting pretty up on their charge station. They're hoping to get endgame points, which just started. The last thirty seconds, we'll see teams migrating towards their switches to generate points for their team. If it's in a level configuration, they get ten points. If it's not level, they can get six per robot. Blue Alliance making a strong effort to balance their charge station. It's currently in that position. Same with the Red Alliance. They're city pretty and waiting for their end of the match, but not for 4272, making their way to place a final game piece before this match ends. That was the end of qualification match one. Here are our scores for qualification match two. It's the Red Alliance. With a score of 117, beating now Blue Alliance is 39. Three ranking points for the Red Alliance team, shifting them up into critical picking positions. But again, teams will gain more, more points, ranking points throughout today's event.